Welcome to our channel NKC Insight. National Moon Day commemorates on July 20 the day man first walked on the moon. NASA reported the moon landing as being the single greatest technological achievement of all time. We celebrated the 51st anniversary of Apollo 11's moon landing, and NASA is making plans to send another human crew to the moon in 2024. In 1969, Apollo 11 carried the first humans to the moon. Six hours after landing on the moon, American Neil Armstrong stepped onto the lunar surface. Buzz Aldrin soon followed, stepping onto the lunar surface. After joining Armstrong, the two men collected 47.5 pounds of lunar material. In 1971, President Richard Nixon proclaimed National Moon Landing Day on July 20 to honor the anniversary of man's first moon landing. Earth has just one moon a rocky, cratered place, roughly a quarter the size of Earth and an average of 238,855 miles away. The moon does not shine with its own light. It simply reflects light coming from the sun. Moon formed early in the solar system's history after Earth and an object about the size of Mars smashed into each other. The impact sent chunks of Earth and the impactor into space that were pulled together by gravity, creating the Moon. Today, the Moon is covered by craters as well as dust and debris from comets, asteroids and meteoroid impacts. In 1971, Apollo 14 astronaut Stuart Rooser took a bunch of seeds with him and, while Alan Shepard and Edgar Mitchell were busy sauntering around on the surface, Rooser guarded his seeds. Later, the seeds were germinated on Earth, planted at various sites around the country, and came to be called the Moon Trees. The Moon's heavily cratered surface is the result of intense pummeling by space rocks between 4.1 billion and 3.8 billion years ago. The U.S. sent three classes of robotic missions to prepare the way for human exploration. The Rangers 1961 to 1965 were impact probes, the Lunar Orbiters 1966-1967 mapped the surface to find landing sites, and the Surveyors 1966 to 1968 were soft lander. During the Apollo missions of 1969 to 1972, 12 American astronauts walked on the moon. They used a lunar roving vehicle to travel on the surface and extend their studies of soil mechanics, meteoroids, lunar ranging, magnetic fields, and solar wind. The Apollo astronauts brought back 382 kilograms 842 pounds, of rock and soil to Earth for study. A solar eclipse happens when the Moon gets in the way of the Sun's light and casts its shadow on Earth. That means during the day, the Moon moves over the Sun and it gets dark. Sometimes Moon will be closer to us, a position called perigee, it is 14% closer to Earth than when it is at its farthest position, known as apogee. When that proximity coincides with the full Moon phase, making the Moon 30% brighter in the night sky, the event is referred to as a supermoon. The lunar effect is a correlation between specific stages of the roughly 29.5-day lunar cycle and behavior and physiological changes in living beings on Earth, including human. The Moon takes 27 days, 7 hours, and 43 minutes to complete one revolution around the Earth, and 29.5 days for a Moon phase cycle. Before modern lighting, the light of a full Moon has kept people up at night, leading to sleep deprivation that could have caused other psychological issues, according to one hypothesis that awaits data support. The Moon's appearance helps you know what phase it is in and where the Moon is compared to the Sun. Thanks for watching this video, follow us in Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter by clicking the below link mentioned in the description of our channel. Also subscribe our channel for more videos.